My silver tip tetras are having a major dispute. I don't know why. At first I thought they were courting, but their tit for tat behavior suggests that they're probably the same sex, and I would guess both male. They're obviously heavily disturbed about something. They tend to get a bit rowdy after I feed them. You'd think that that would kind of calm them down a bit, but I guess the extra energy jacks them up. They appear to be slugging each other somehow. Like uh, jamming their mouths into the side of the other guy. This is fish wrestling at its best. Fascinating. Let's try to keep it in focus here, which is a challenge considering they're moving almost too fast to see. What is it, guys? Let's try to get another perspective here. By the way, they're in my nice uh, eight gallon bowl. That's right, an eight gallon bowl. It's pretty big. Uh, it's about 15 inches in diameter. Let's see here. I guess there's no clear aggressor. They seem pretty well matched and pretty much equally angry at each other. I notice how they they face off opposite and like that, and they they sometimes dance their fins at each other. So much for uh, domestic harmony, I guess. Here, let's play a trick on them. I'll turn out the lights except for the spot. See if it calms them down. Ready? One, two, wait a minute. One, two, one, two, three. There we go. Now only the spotlight is on, which is, uh, by the way, a 4-watt LED. It's a little desktop lamp called Janzjo, which I got from Ikea. Not the cheapest light source by any means, but uh, extremely power efficient. So they've decided to go out of the limelight. I guess they're embarrassed by their behavior. Huh? No, climbing right back front and center. Jeez. Cool it. I don't know where they're getting their energy. I, I didn't feed them that much. My plants, as you can see, uh, are definitely not in the greatest of shape. Uh, I'm in the process of fixing that. Wow. Okay, what if I turn the light back on? One, two, three. Whoa! That stunned them a bit. Yeah, but... Huh. Maybe they've calmed down now. Uh, okay, maybe not. You know, they don't seem to actually hurt each other. It seems more like the silver tip tetra equivalent of locking horns, as practiced by uh, aggressive mooses. They are opposing each other and dancing those fins, shaking in anger, or in the desire to intimidate the opponent, I don't know. Hmm. 
Now, let's see. Back out a little farther. Get some context. There's an Oto Sinkless cleaning my branch in the background. Jeez, this is like a TKO match or something. Uh, that thing that just flew by was not another silver tip. Silver tip. It was a ember tetra, and of course you can see cardinal tetra floating around there. There goes an ember. There he is, little ember tetra. Beautiful little thing. Only discovered in about 1995, from what I understand. If you'd like to see the rest of my bowl, back out here, there's the Jens show. As you can see, it's supplying LED spot power. And then this other normal fluorescent 11 watt desk lamp, also from IKEA. It's coming close. Sorry about the movement there. My plants are in terrible shape because I realized after I put this bowl together that I really should have put laterite, uh, that is to say, uh, basically rich clay uh, under the gravel as fertilizer, and I didn't do it. So I brilliantly decided to do it after the fact, which obviously clouded the water and uh, took down some of the plants we use with it. But uh, now I'm adding liquid fertilizer, and uh, the water quality has stabilized again, so I think in a couple of months things will look pretty good probably post another video then. But in the meanwhile, I have this fantastic boxing match going on. I can't believe you're actually still watching this. But what the heck, YouTube has a lot of storage. I'll just keep filming until the 10 minute quota runs out. Or until these guys decide they're going to get along. Which I just don't think is going to happen. Quite mesmerizing. Ember Tetra obviously very confused there. I once saw the Oto Sinkless try to uh, clean algae off one of the silver tips while he was in a fight, and that was a really bad decision on his part. For a bit of a tour. I love this particular red crypt here. I don't know what it is, but uh, at least I think it's a cryptocorny. Maybe it's not. Here. Where'd he go? Ah, he's in back. By the way, I don't use any uh, carbon dioxide fertilization, uh, nor do I add nitrates or phosphates, because I think fish are pretty good at uh, producing all of those. I think if I use CO2, the only thing it would do is kind of accelerate the plant growth. But I don't know, it might be that the ultimate state of plant growth would actually be more lush. I have to investigate that. Well, I'm almost out of time, and I think our match has finally concluded. Thanks for watching Pay-Per-View.